In this video, I'm going to show you the tap kill fix for virus removal. Now, you sh I should warn you ahead of time that this is the tap kill fix for pornographic type viruses. These viruses are the worst kind of viruses you can ever get for your computer. And um, it should be warned this is for more immediate to advanced users of a computer. And I'm going to show you this right now. So, if you suspect you hit a bad virus infection and you know if your computer is running really really slowly and bad things are happening and more importantly of all if you've actually been uh, sent to a pornographic site or a phishing site it's important that you uh, remember that because that's they're more and more than likely your computer is infected so I'm gonna run you th run you through the steps of uh, fixing your computer. Now I'm going to warn you again that this this may not work because some sites will send the virus into your backup files and virus scanners are not allowed to touch those because if they do damage them through a false positive then they are held liable for your damage. So they will never go into there and if your if your infection if your virus has gone into there then you might as well buy a new computer at that point because it's gotten really bad. So, assuming that that has not happened to you yet, um, there's a way to save your computer from a slow dying death. So, let's get started. First thing you should do is download and run Rkill. Now, I will have a link in the description for Rkill, and I'm going to explain its features. Um, Rkill is a program that will end virus processes so you can remove them. So I've already downloaded it. You're going to go to downloads. And here is our kill. Yeah, this is uh, owned by bleepingcomputer.com and that's where I will send you to. You should never try to download it from other than from bleeping computer because they update this continuously. So, here is our kill. Now, I'm going to see if I can get this to run while I have my hyper camera on. So, run now this is going to produce a black screen this is this runs at the most basic level <coughs> so it can uh, destroy the virus processes so you can remove them now after you run our kill do not reboot your computer um, it that is exactly the opposite thing you want to do because when you uh, end the processes of something and then you reboot your computer, you're just starting the process again. So, you're, if you reboot your computer, you're actually doing more harm to your computer than you are good. So, after this is complete and it gives you a log, do not reboot your computer. Instead, um, you will switch to your virus software. Now, some uh, Trojans or viruses may hijack your security system. And they will say that our kill is a virus and it's out to steal your identity. This is not true. Do not believe that warning. They do this for a reason. Our kill is a major threat to viruses, and obviously, because developers of viruses have uh, put in warnings for our kill, it shows the case. So, obviously, this is not going to run while I have my hypercam running. So, we're just going to skip that. It will basically come up with a black screen and it will explain what it is doing and then it will end and then it will give, come up with a uh, log of the viruses it has ended so let's move to the next step after I end the processes here for our kill so the next step in the virus removal process is to use iobit malwarefighter now if you recall from other videos I have actually said not to use this for removal but <coughs> because this is such a risky situation as it is to keep the viruses on your computer using iobit here is actually better for you so if it does end up removing uh, system files from you um, I've given you plenty of fair warning so I'm not held liable if it destroys your computer so please keep that in mind and don't get mad at me if your computer crashes but if you have a bad virus infection already your computer's done for so this is the lesser of two evils. Though I would prefer not to say that, but it's it's true I've had problems with it, so. 
Alright, so I would just load up. Now I'm gonna run you through the steps to for this for, for the virus removal. Um, first thing you should do is you should do a custom scan. And so bring up another window. You want to click these two, and then you hit scan. Alright. Then after that scan is done, you will do a smart scan and then a full scan. This can take up to two hours, uh, depending on how large your computer is and memory. So be warned. Uh, this can remove system files, but in a case like this, you should usually use this because it is a very good program. So we're going to close that. So now you know to use iobit. Let's move on to the last one here. Uh, we're going to go to Spybot, Search and Destroy. Now, when you install this, this will have uh, another feature called T-Timer, and that basically actively scans your computer for any unknown processes or damaging processes such as viruses or trojans. So you ha always want to have uh, T-Timer installed with SpyBot. Alright, so as far as loaded up here. So the first thing you want to do when you get SpyBot is to update it. So you hit search for updates and it would guide you through the steps. Next you would hit check for problems and this would start an immediate scan. And after if uh, you have uh, what's called uh, potentially unwanted programs, uh, you might end up start seeing uh, the same screen from our kill except it would be saying uh, cannot locate whatever file don't worry about that uh, spybot will end up fixing that but those usually lag your computer and do no real purpose but if you encounter more serious problems like uh, viruses you it will tell you that and it will fix it for you so keeping that in mind it, once you have completed all these scans um, there's another thing you must do. You must unplug your computer from the internet for about a month. Now, I know that sounds uh, extreme, but if you do have a bad virus infection, sometimes these scanners can't pick it up immediately because they have not found that type of program to be a virus. So if you wait a month uh, the and then update it, update your virus scanners you will um, you will actually get more viruses in the coming month so after that I would hook up uh, the computer back to the internet and then I would just go about my business uh, on, the, on the internet but I would run scans once a week just a quick scan using iobit and keep in mind there's false positives so run spybot2 and if you start to see more viruses showing up that's a sign that you have viruses in your backup and your computer is doomed so you can probably take it to best buy but they probably won't be able to do anything for you at that point now if you try to reinstall your operating system that will not work because the virus will mutate and end up becoming a part of your operating system which in itself is a bad thing so just keep in mind that sometimes your computer is not fixable and if you got uh, linked to a bad site it's really nobody's fault but theirs but keep in mind it, it happens and you may need to buy a new computer now this is the last ditch effort um, it has lots of risk um, my computer actually had this happen to it and it ran slow for about a month after I did this top kill but it is now virus free and it is a success story so for that I give a shout out to iobit for their malware fighter and spybot now also when you go to do this um, your firewall will not help you in any way because viruses tend to manipulate firewalls to their own advantage so do not even think about you know trying to mess with your firewall because it won't do any good anyway so keep your internet and connection unplugged when you do this because viruses may try to call them back up for this so bottom line this is the last ditch effort and if it fails new computer but if it works um, you can do me a favor uh, leave a comment in the comments box uh, thanking me for my uh, ingenious efforts here um, you can thumb up the video while you're at it or if you have something to add um, like a different type of virus scanner or a technique of your own let me know by submitting a comment and I might even create a video uh, creating you with it 
um, if you have a problem please post on bleeping computer forums and they will help you they um, they have virus removal experts standing by so I will put in a link to them and thanks for watching and good luck with removing your viruses